When we think of great predators, names like Tyrannosaurus rex and Spinosaurus will leap to mind. These dinosaurs dominate our popular imagination. But what about a lesser known but equally fascinating hunter? A dinosaur whose name literally translates to new hunter. A creature hidden in fossil beds on a quiet English island, offering us unexpected clues about the lives of predators 130 million years ago. This is the new Venator. The new Venator belonged to a group of allosauroids which were large, powerful meat-eating dinosaurs. It was one of Europe's largest known predators at the time, stretching roughly 25 feet long and weighing almost 2 tons, about the weight of a compact SUV. Neovenator was perfectly designed for life as a hunter, equipped with powerful legs for chasing down prey, strong arms ending in sharp curved claws, and a mouth filled with blade-like serrated teeth, perfect for slicing flesh like a set of steak knives. It was first uncovered on the Isle of Wight off the southern coast of England. This island is famous for its dinosaur fossils, but the Neovenator is special. Most large theropods from this period are usually known only from fragmentary or partial bones, perhaps a single jaw, scattered teeth, or isolated bones. But with Neovenator, paleontologists have recovered a significant portion of its skeleton. This includes well-preserved skull, backbone, and limb bones, almost perfectly preserved, hiding in the cliffs of a small peaceful island, waiting over a hundred million years for someone to find it. This theropod merits attention as it's the most completely known large theropod from the early Cretaceous of Europe. This completeness allowed scientists to reconstruct its anatomy, lifestyle, and behavior with a much greater degree of accuracy compared to other theropods of the same era. The name Neovenator, meaning new hunter, reflects the excitement scientists felt upon discovery in the mid-90s, and its discovery was more than just adding a new name to a list. Neovenator changed our understanding of theropod evolution. Before Neovenator, most famous allosauroids, cousins of the mighty Allosaurus, were known primarily from Jurassic rocks, making Neovenator's appearance in the early Cretaceous a thrilling extension to their timeline. Classification-wise, Neovenator sits comfortably among the large theropods known as allosauroids. Some analysts even placed it as an early member of the Cogarodontosaur family, a lineage famed for housing some of the largest land predators ever known. So although you might not have heard of the Neovenator, its relatives include super predators that even rivaled the T-Rex in size. It wasn't the biggest predator of its day, but it was formidable. Imagine a muscular, agile hunter built for swift attacks featuring a sleek, laterally compressed skull lined with razor-sharp teeth, perfect for slicing through flesh. Not quite the bulky bruiser the T-Rex was, Neovenator was more like big cats today graceful but deadly, designed for precision rather than brute force. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Neovenator is its facial structure. Scientists discovered large, complex network of tiny canals inside its facial bones, structures that were surprisingly similar to those found in semi-aquatic dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus. Initially, these canals were thought to indicate aquatic adaptations. But here's the mystery. Neovenator showed no signs of aquatic life. This was a fully terrestrial predator no webbed feet, no paddle-like tail, so what were these canals for? These intricate channels were actually nerve pathways, part of a sensitive facial detection system. This sensory equipment allowed the Neovenator to perceive its environment in ways we are only just beginning to understand. A sensitive snout would be useful when defleshing a carcass, imparting enhanced sensitivity to allow the animal to carefully differentiate between meat and bone when feeding. For Neovenator, this meant feeding with precision, stripping flesh cleanly from a bone, avoiding damage to its teeth. Just imagine you're eating chicken wings and carefully nibbling off the meat without biting into the bone. Neovenator did something similar when feeding. Its highly sensitive snout allowed it to carefully remove the flesh from prey, avoiding damaging its teeth on the hard bones, a smart tactic we see today in animals like cheetahs. These nerve pathways may have also been essential for social interactions too. Like modern day crocodiles, they gently bite each other during mating rituals. Neovenator may have engaged in similar face biting behavior to establish dominance or attract mates. Its sensitive face would have allowed it to perform these rituals carefully, sending signals without causing severe injury. There is one more surprising possibility that the Neovenator used its sensitive snout for, and that is nesting. Modern crocodilians use their snouts to carefully build nests and monitor their eggs, feeling temperature and humidity levels. Paleontologists believe Neovenator might have behaved similarly, delicately preparing and maintaining its nest to ensure the best chance of survival for its offspring. Details we might overlook in fossil bones, yet rich with hidden possibilities. So what was on the menu for this new hunter? 
It is assumed that it was a predator of ornithopods and other mid-sized dinosaurs, a hypothesis supported by bite marks on an associated specimen of the Mantellisaurus. This dinosaur was a herbivore about the size of a small car, and Neovenator wasn't reckless either. It chose its meals carefully, typically preying on the younger or smaller individuals to minimize the risk of injury. Fossil evidence even shows bite marks on the bones of these plant eaters, clear signs of predation. But interestingly, just like we said before, these bite marks rarely pierce through the bone, indicating a careful approach to its eating. It's almost certain that the Neovenator had a surgeon's precision carefully extracting meals without damaging itself in the process. Recent research analyzing tooth wear backs this up. Neovenator's teeth show few signs of bone damage, similar to what we see in the modern cheetah. These big cats avoid crushing bones to protect their teeth, and Neovenator might have hunted in a similar fashion. With articles stating that minimal tooth-to-bone contact and the targeting of smaller juvenile individuals is also predicted. Of course, Neovenator wasn't alone. It shared its environment with several other dangerous predators, most notably the infamous Baryonyx. But these two dinosaurs managed to coexist because they hunted in very different ways and habitats. Baryonyx specialized in fishing and preferred riverbanks and lakes, much like a modern grizzly bear catching salmon. Neovenator, on the other hand, dominated the forest and open plains, chasing down land-based prey. This separation in hunting strategies meant both predators could thrive without the constant competition of each other. But if Neovenator was so finely tuned for survival, why is it not around today? Like all dinosaurs of its era, Neovenator eventually disappeared. The precise reasons behind its extinction remain unclear, but we know it vanished sometime in the early Cretaceous. Fossils indicate a thriving complex ecosystem on the Isle of Wight, yet environments inevitably change, climates shift, prey disappears, and even the most specialized hunters must adapt or vanish. The geological formations where Neovenital fossils were found offer clues to us. These rocks were formed by ancient rivers and floodplains, lush, thriving habitats filled with life, but the fossil records suggest these environments changed over time, perhaps shifting climate patterns, disrupted prey availability, or altered habitats too rapidly for the Neovenator to adapt to. These are the mysteries still waiting to be uncovered by future fossil hunters. As we look at the Neovenator, there's a broader lesson for all of us fascinated by prehistoric life. Even the fossils of predators tell stories of delicacy, subtlety, and complexity, not just brute force and size. Neovenator reminds us how we can still learn so much from the lives of dinosaurs, how they interacted, how they hunted, and how they experienced the world. We tend to focus on dinosaur size, power, and fearsome appearance. But what about their subtle skills, their complex behaviors, and the sensitive tools evolution gave them? Imagine what else we might uncover, looking closely at details previously overlooked. Could we someday understand dinosaur behavior so deeply that we might visualize their social interactions, their careful planning, or even their precise hunting techniques in vivid detail? Could Neovenator's sensitivity give us clues about other dinosaurs whose secrets remain hidden beneath the soil? As we stand here today, looking back across millions of years, the tale of the Neovenator is not just the story of one dinosaur, it's a window into an ecosystem bustling with life. A snapshot of a predator evolved to thrive in specific, remarkable ways. It challenges us to rethink assumptions, encourages us to ask new questions, and ignites our curiosity about what discovers still wait beneath our feet. My name's Joe, and I really hope you enjoyed this video on the Neovenator. On screen, we have some of our favorite videos for you to watch next, and subscribe to be notified when we upload our next video.